Here's something I did yesterday, kind of figured out a way where I could uh, fill up my pond with some rainwater. Maybe for the winter, I'll be able to keep some water in there. There's my little system I created. I installed a gutter on the front of the shed. It didn't have it on there before. The shed's about 30 foot long. And I, it was about, I think it was 31 feet long. And I just got uh, three 10 footers and the uh, downspout extension there. You can see I had to actually build up the area here, what you're looking at. I had to raise the pipe up because it was leaking all of the water out from the center there and nothing was going into the pond. And that wasn't the original intent of the, uh, of the design there. So I'm gonna probably have to build something later, uh, some type of a system to raise that up. Because, I mean, if you think about this, a nice, nice uh, windstorm could blow this thing apart and I'd be out of, out of luck again. I did measure the, I think it's been raining for about three hours while I, while I was filming this thing. It started raining at six. I think I started, I think I filmed this around 10. So four hours. And... The water was probably, I'm guessing, about four inches below the top step there. I did measure it. It was 13 inches from the top of the deck there, top of the pond deck. So I'll be able to check and see. But they're expecting this rainstorm is December 12th, 2014. And they're expecting a half of, half of an inch of rain an hour coming out of this storm and it hasn't uh it's just been raining steady it's not nothing you know it's not a heavy downpour but it's been a nice steady rain and i'm actually going to try and run another gutter from the back of the shed i was going to run it yesterday but i started to remove the old gutter that was rusted and it uh i found out i had some fascia board damage so that uh that will uh, come later, but I don't really know if I'm going to need two ends coming out of here. I might take the other end of the gutter and run it back into my garden area. But uh, who knows? We'll see. There it is. Now I'm going to show you some pictures I took. This is the day before. And everything looks fine. You can actually see the drain there. It's hanging below where you could see where all the water would have leaked out. Or, what, or before I fixed it. So that's what it looked like yesterday. And you can see the water level of the pond is about three or four inches below the first step there. And I just took and connected the plastic to the metal with one screw. I might come up with a better idea later to uh, make a like a quick connection kind of a thing. And of course, there's the other side of the shed with the gutter. So that's it for this video. If you if you have a gutter, you don't you can kind of work something out to where you can buy a couple of things. Those plastic pipes, the black plastic pipes I got that were flexible, I got them I think at one of the home improvement centers for about six dollars. So even one or two of them could keep the water away from your house or divert it into an area that you might need a little more water. So if it works and you can use it, uh, go for it. If it doesn't, then uh, off to the next video.